The purpose of this video is to show how to establish a remote peering connection between two dynamic routing gateways, or DRGs, located in two different OCI tenancies. The DRGs can be located in the same or in different OCI regions, allowing for easier network management and control between the tenancies. To establish the connection between the two tenancies, one tenancy is designated as the requester and the other tenancy is designated as the acceptor. A set of IAM policies are required in each tenancy's root compartment to create the peering. The remote peering connection relationship is initiated from the requester tenancy. Let's take a look at this process by starting in the requester tenancy. We'll begin by going to the top left hamburger menu. We'll go down to identity and security and under identity, we'll select policies. From there, we'll click create policy. We'll give our policy a name, cross tenancy RPC, a short description, and we'll confirm we're in the correct root compartment. In the policy builder section, click the slider for the manual editor, and we'll create our policy, which consists of three lines. The first, being the acceptor tenancy, we'll need to define that using the acceptor tenancy's OSIT. The second line is a group within the requester tenancy that will actually manage the remote peering connection in the requester tenancy, along with the compartment the remote peering connection is located. And the third is the action where we allow that group to create the remote peering connection to the acceptor. Once finished, hit the create button. We'll need to create a similar set of policies in the acceptor tenancy. Let's do that now, starting again with our name, a short description, and we'll confirm that we're in the correct root compartment. So likewise, there's three lines for the policy. This time we'll define the requester tenancy using its OSID. We'll create a group name, it doesn't really matter what the name is, but we'll have to make sure that it is the requester's group OSIT that we captured in the requester tenancy. And the third thing is again, the action. We're going to allow that group to create the remote peering connection to us from the requester tenancy. And once finished, we'll click create. Now we're ready to provision our RPC connection. Let's start with the acceptor tenancy. We'll create a new remote peering connection. We'll give it a name that makes sense to us. We'll place it in the appropriate compartment. And once finished, we'll hit create remote peering connection. And after a few seconds, we'll click on the actual remote peering connection. And then we'll copy the remote peering connection OSIT. Back on the requester tenancy, we'll create the remote peering connection to complete this configuration. Again, we'll create a new name, make sure we're in the correct compartment that the group can manage. We'll create a remote peering connection. Now we'll click on the remote peering connection, but this time we'll establish a new connection. We'll hit the establish connection button be sure to select the correct region that we're going to make the connection to. In this case, I'm in the same region, but different tenancies. And I'm gonna pop in and paste the acceptor's tenancy OSIT. From there, hit establish connection. After a couple of minutes, if all goes well, you'll see the cross tenancy icon turn from a no to a yes and this will complete the conclusion of the RPC connection across tenancies.